What you guys today we're taking a look at the Intel Nook 12 Pro. Now this is everything you're going to need in a mini PC. This is the i5 version. There's quite a few different versions of these on the market and these come as bare bones or you can configure them to your own needs. As you can see here we do have everything inside the box here that we need. We've got a HDMI cable. We also have a power cable here now this is going to change depending on what country you're in i'm in the uk so we've got a uk plug and we've got a pretty good power brick here 120 watts power brick and you can pause the screen and read all that information if you wish but it is a pretty good power brick this one and it does come with a barrel connector on the end here for the actual power so let's go on to uh, what else we get we get the uh, user manual here and a quick start guide. We also have some screws and some other bits in here. And we also have the back plate, which is going to mount it onto the monitor or the wall. And we have the actual mini PC itself. On the front of the device, we have two USB 3.2 ports. We also have our headphone input here. And we also have our power button on the front here. On the side, we have some ventilation here to let air flow. Uh, blow through here and on the other side we have the same but we also have a Kinston lock on this side as well moving on round to the back we do have that big exhaust area to uh, exhale the heat from the device we have our power input we have our HDMI port here we have two of those which are HDMI 2.1 TMDS are compatible and we also have two USB ports on here one USB 3.2 and one USB 2.0. We also have our Ethernet port, which is 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port on here. Also Wi-Fi 6E supported on this device as well and some sort of expansion slot there as well. Now, if we look at the bottom of the device here, there's a little area here. I think this is where some sort of expansion can go in here or maybe a drive or something like that. We'll take a look at that in a second. And also we're gonna pull the top off here. This just clips on. And when you pull this off, you get access to the actual fan housing here. And this is where we can undo this by just undoing two screws and removing this out. So it's easy to remove this and clean it out if you need to on a regular basis. So pretty straightforward stuff here and gain access to the top. I'm going to just clip this back on. There is some coating on here, plastic coating, some matte black finish. And we're just going to undo these four screws here and gain access to the bottom of the mini PC here. Now this just stays on the screws. You just pull this off. Be careful because there is a ribbon cable uh, connected to this uh, bottom piece and the actual mini PC itself. And once we get this open, it's going to gain access to the actual device here. So we can uh, do quite a bit inside here. We can add another two and a half inch drive inside the top of the actual case here it's got a nice big chunky cooler on here as well goes on here underneath here we just slip in a two and a half inch drive where we want to put in an ssd in there that will be useful got nice big thermal pads on here and copper plate here and that should help to keep the pci express uh, cards cool and it does have a gen 3 and a gen 4 uh, slot on here so that's pretty useful we do have a intel uh, ssd six seven six p series card in here which is 512 gigabytes which is gen 4 which will give you some speeds i'll show you some speed tests on those in a minute and we have our b key sata on there as well which you can use for extra storage as well so you've got plenty of storage options on this we also have the crucial ddr4 3200 1.2 volt sodium memory so 32 gig kit they're pretty good uh goes up to 64 gigs cl22 uh, rating on that one as well and this is what else you can get inside here we do have an i5 1240p in here which is pretty good also the iris uh, graphics on here which is going to give us those awesome graphics from intel as well so let's do some geekbench uh benchmarks here we're going to run the cpu benchmark and the scores for that is 1613 on the single core 9,390 on the multi-core and the GPU is 14,333 on there. Let's get some uh, 3D mark here, 1,492 on Time Spy, and then we're going to run the uh, GPU test on here as well, which will be 
down here we need to do night raid and we'll get a gpu score as well for you so you can see what the gpu scores are 14861 which is pretty good uh, for this mini pc as you'd expect it's an intel uh, nook so it's going to be pretty good and let's move on to some other benchmarks which is for the nvme here and you can see here we're going to get 3036 on the reads and 1650 on the writes and we've got 4k there 460 and also on the writes 483 for 4k so pretty good let's have a look at the uh, stock temperatures here when it's idle and i'll also show you them under load so you get an idea of what this unit is i'm expecting pretty good temps here from this intel nook and it jumps around about 40 849 celsius here on the idle temps under maximum load running geekbench here i was expecting to see thermal throttling and things like that but there was none of that at all maximum 80 celsius on temperatures here and a score of 11,004. now a lot of mini pcs will thermal throttle and also get massive temperature issues when running at the geekbench now we're going to run some streaming here 4k 60 fps and you can skip and it has no problems at all this is jellyfish 140 mbps 4k hevc 10 bit and you can skip it as well no problems at all no stuttering and you can play 4k movies as well should be silky smooth no issues with this intel nook and this is the i5 version and i'm pretty impressed with its performance a pretty decent mini pc with good cooling as well no thermal throttling whatsoever and it's a really good all-round mini PC. You can do some uh, gaming on here as well. This is some emulation, which will have no problems on here whatsoever. And I was running three times uh, rendering resolution plus. I was running uh, the upscale of three times as well. So it was having no trouble with this at all. And again, you can mess around with this as much as you like. Silky smooth gameplay. And I'm pretty sure it will play some other games as well with that GPU on there, the Irish GPU, really, really good GPU uh, for this particular processor. And again, remember, this is a mini PC. It's not meant to be designed for gaming, but it can actually do it, and it can do some photo edits and uh, video editing as well on this mini PC. So it's a pretty good mini PC. Let's just test the power usage here at 56 watts when we put the uh, maximum load on the CPU it goes up to 57.6 watts there and it's fluctuating there so around about there 57.6 so that's good enough and uh, you can see here as well we're getting maximum on the 86 Celsius when we put the CPU under maximum load here pretty good uh, for this mini PC and again you're not going to have no thermal throttling or temperature issues this is the extreme testing for this mini PC, I'm pretty much sure that you're never ever gonna push it to its limits like that. The BIOS looks really nice too. I do like the way Intel do their BIOS and a pretty nice overall mini PC. One of my favorite ones so far. Although it's not the most powerful, it is definitely one of my favorite, especially the build design and also cooling and things like that is essential for a mini PC. Anyway, I think that's gonna be about it. That is the uh, Nook 12 Pro, uh, the 12th gen edition for Nook, and I'm really impressed with its performance. And you can change all the power settings inside the bars here. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. A special shout out goes to Michael Gadda, RTX Brody, David Lees, Walid, PC Repair Tech, Edward Kelly. Celtic Lad, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Welsh Tony One, and Rock and Roll Rebel. I really do appreciate the support, guys. I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat, or I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.